All right, guys, I'm back at Chairman Customs. As y'all can see right here, this is a custom BMW enclosure. As you can see, look at the work on it. It's, um has the, uh, like the bed liner on it to protect it. As you can see, real, real good work. Um, and it has the, it has two ports, custom ports in it. Um, your, your ports won't float around, won't move around as y'all can see. They got the clamps on the inside, so they won't go anywhere. Look at that build. All right, and of course, he has a spot for the logo. Perfect. So it actually looks like it came with the vehicle. So um, you won't have to worry about it just standing out a whole lot. Of course, it has the custom back back part on it where I guess it just slides into the slides right into a certain spot on the in the BMW. If you all know uh, about a BMW, you don't have a lot of space to work with most of the time. Uh, let me see. What a term? A convertible. Okay, well, even better. Y'all know about the convertible. You don't have space in any convertible. So this is a custom build. If you need a custom BMW enclosure, he's done convertibles of all kind, I'm sure. Uh, I think I came in one time. He had a uh, he had a Mustang box one time, then. Was it a Mustang or a Corvette? Corvette. Yeah, he had a Corvette box in here one time before. Uh, he does all kind of work. Uh, that over there is a Toyota Tundra but battery box. There's a custom deal right there. Tacoma. Tacoma. Toyota Tacoma. I'm going to get these names right after a while, y'all. Um, as y'all can see right there, uh, custom. Y'all see the thing that hold the uh, front of it down like that. I can't get it. I ain't going to try to put it on there. But I'll just hold it there so y'all can see it's not quite finished yet. But he's still working on it. Got a little sanding to do. And of course, it has a top on it. If you have a Toyota Tacoma. Top, did I say it right that time? Yeah. Okay. Toyota Tacoma. If y'all need one of those enclosures or anything like that. Most of that stuff is custom. So you may have to bring the vehicle. But if you go to chairmancustom.com, the contact information is there. Uh, his phone number may be on the website or email. You can contact him there on chairmancustom.com. And he does have a YouTube uh, with some of his older work on there. But you can go on there and see it. Uh, quite a few guys um, in the audio community um, that does have his enclosures or whatnot. Y'all know if y'all been following me from the beginning, I have a 18-inch uh, uh, enclosure uh, at home. Uh, Uncle Loud has. He's brought two of them to him, I think. So uh, if y'all see that stuff on there, if... Um, Y'all see it. Most of the time he built it, if I have it. And then he's got um, what else? the roof rack system that he does do. And I'm just showing y'all this BMW enclosure for the convertible. These boxes are hard to find. You probably can't buy them prefab or whatnot. So if you need this custom work, look at that logo on there. That just looks like it just came from the factory like this. So if y'all want to get this, go to chairmancustoms.com. I'm gonna leave the links down below. I'm gonna let y'all get the links down to his YouTube as well so y'all can check out some of his older work. If you go in some of the base audio groups and ask about Chairman Customs, some of the guys in there already have the enclosures. Um, I even went to um, some shows over in Arkansas and Missouri and the guys already knew what I was talking about. So I was like, oh, well, you know, he's out there a little bit. He's been in the game a long time. So uh, he's trustworthy and I've been coming here a long time. So this is the only place I go, chairmancustoms.com. Uh, the contact information is there. I'm going to leave some links down below. And uh, he's on Facebook as well, Chairman Customs. I'm going to leave both of those links down below in the description. Uh, so if you're seeing this video, uh, y'all already made it through the video and the information down below. Be sure to like, subscribe. I'm going to see y'all back, and I'll give y'all more footage here. Let me turn the light back on. Uh, turn it off on what? <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, there we go. Yeah. So uh, y'all be sure to check it out. See y'all back on the next one.